Well, it is a project we've been following for years, and this week a court case could determine its fate. It is the controversial New England Clean Energy Connect project. The project, backed by CMP, is halted right now because voters rejected it and then developers sued to save it. Jury selection for that trial started this morning. News Center Maine's Sean Stackhouse is live at the courthouse tonight with the very latest. Hi, Sean. Hey, Brian and Samantha, the focus of this trial really all surrounds vested rights. That's whether project developers had the enough valid permits, spent enough money, and had completed enough of the construction to give them the right to continue building. Attorneys representing the New England Clean Energy Connect say they do, and that there have been numerous challenges and obstacles that have happened uh, in the courtroom as well as via referendum that have delayed the project. Now, as you just heard, one of those delays was a referendum in which Maine voters voted to block the controversial project. Project supporters say the law should not apply to them because they've established those vested rights, but opponents argue that vested rights were not established and that the project expedited work to try and establish those vested rights to allow the project to keep moving forward despite challenges. The crux of the question the jury in this civil trial will need to answer is who built what, when and why. Through a retroactive law passed almost 10 months after construction lawfully began pursuant to valid permits and after hundreds of millions of dollars had been spent to build it according to a schedule created in 2018. A person or a company only gets to claim vested rights when the harm that they're claiming to suffer, that they spent money on construction, is done in good faith. If Avangrid and NECC expedited their construction schedule to start in January and February of 2021 instead of May of 2021, thinking that they could get some poles in the air in order to prevent the referendum from ever being applied to them, that is not good faith. The trial is expected to continue through the rest of the week into next week. The jury expected to hear thousands of pieces of evidence. We'll bring you the latest from the courtroom as they unfold. Samantha, back to you. Sean Stackhouse live for us in Portland tonight. Thank you.